like a rainy and stormy day. So I decided to make this day more fun by doing Sabrina Carpenter's makeup, or at least attempt it. I have no clue how this makeup is gonna turn out, but I'm gonna try my very best. The first makeup product I'm gonna be using is concealer. All right, now that my concealer is all over my face, I didn't really know where to put it, but I just like tried my best. Um, now it's all over my face and I'm starting to like blend it out like this. Okay, now that my concealer is all blended out, I'm now gonna start on my eyes. I'm gonna do my eyeshadow. I love eyeshadow, like literally so much. So as you saw in her makeup, it's like a type of neutral and then it has like some shine and like shimmer to it. So I'm gonna be using like these two candy and gaze for like my two shinies so like this one and this one and like these two is what i'm like thinking i'm gonna do with my eyes i really love like really love eyes. i don't know really it. i'm gonna put this way to make my color right here like all right i'm now going to like the little darker color the tart color and i'm gonna be doing it right here of my eyes so just like right here and then i'm gonna line up I decided to also add this color right here. I think it's called like sugar right here. It's literally so pretty and I'm gonna add this right there as well. It's like that neutral color, but it also has that shine into it. It is literally so pretty. So I'm gonna put it right here and then I'll do the candy and the sugar and right here, it kind of leaks down in the picture. So that's what I'm gonna be doing. I'm now done with that like brown sugar color. I'm now gonna start doing like the the brightness of my eyes, I'm gonna do like right here. But I do need to get a different brush because the colors are like mixed together. So I think I'm gonna do like this one. Or, I don't know, this one maybe will work better. Yeah, I think this one will work better, so I'm gonna use this brush. Okay, I'm gonna add this little bit of candy. It is literally a gorgeous iridescent color. I'm only spreading will get too much. So I'm gonna put it right here. Then a little bit of candy right there, I'm gonna do a little bit of candy on the other side as well and then I'm gonna make it like that silverish shine like yeah okay that's that's pretty the camera isn't like showing the best like the eyeshadow but I will show you guys in just a minute like through my mirror so you can actually see it now I'm gonna be doing that silver shine so I think I'm gonna make sky and gaze together they're such pretty colors so I think I'm gonna keep the same brush for sky this is so pigmented I've used it before it is literally the pigmentedest the pigment. Anyways, as I was saying, this is a very pigmented eyeshadow. Okay, I'm now gonna be putting that just like right there. This eyeshadow right here reminds me so much of my Rare Beauty highlighter. It's literally like gorgeous. Okay, I'm now gonna do the other eye. I'm just gonna do a little bit more. I don't know how much I put on my other one. I think that's good. And then I'm gonna do it right there again. Oh my gosh. Okay, the eyeshadow is looking really good right there. But now I'm going to be adding just a little bit of gaze like under here to give that just a tad bit of shine. I still have some more eyeshadow to do, so I will be back when my eyeshadow is fully done. Okay, the eyes are done. They are looking really good. I have that brown shimmery up here, and then I have that little white like shimmery right there, and then I have the silver shimmery right here that goes like that, and they're looking pretty good. So now I'm going to be moving on to like blush, contour, stuff like that. And she has like a very like natural almost look um, on her makeup. So I'm not gonna go like so big like all over here. It's now time for bronzer and contour. Okay, so first I'm gonna start with my um, Elf bronzer. I can get it open back there. Okay, so I'm gonna use this here. I'm going to get it a bit and hers is shaped so well. So I need to make sure mine's gonna be shaped like hers. So. That's literally so perfect. She has some right here, just like that. And then she has some right here. Okay, and then she has some nose. Just like this. And then I'm going to go like under my line and do all that. <laughs> now that I have everything outlined with my bronzer, I'm now gonna get my contour. I'm gonna lighten up a little bit and then I'm gonna still be shaping. I think I'm gonna use this brush for it. All right, it is now time for blush. I'm looking at my blush and I was looking at hers. It doesn't really look the exact same. Like hers is like that orangey pink blush, but I actually do have a blush that fits that very perfectly. I haven't used this blush in a very long time. Wait, which one is it? 
Wait, it's not let me open it. It's my Morphe 2 palette. Let me come back. Okay, so that blush just broke everywhere. So that's just awesome. But I'm still going to use that blush because that's the blush I need to use. I think I'm going to use this brush for it. So, yeah. I'm going to just like scoop the little chunks to the side and just get what's left. And, yeah. I got the blush on my cheeks and I'm still going to add some different blush. But I'm going to put just like a little bit right here on my nose. I'm going to add a little bit of this to my blush. I never use this one. I'll use that one because this is a little light. But I think it's going to like pink it up a little bit. Just like this. Okay, it is now time for lashes now that everything else is done. So, um, her lashes are very like, they're not, I mean, they're like long, but they don't have like much mascara on, if you know what I mean. So, I'm going to put like my little clear lash stuff on it first because my lashes won't look without it. So, I'm just going to put a little bit because I'm going to use a lash primer. And that's going to help set off my lashes with the eyeshadow in my eye. Okay, so I'm now going to get the Essence Light Lash Primer. This is the volume booster. I'm going to put it at the very edges and like her edges like stick out. So I'm going to put it right here. Okay, I'll be back. Okay, I'm all done with my lash primer and I'm now going to do mascara. I'm going to be using the Essence Lash Princess Mascara. I'll be back when my lashes are done. Okay, so the lashes are done and they're looking really good. And it is now time for highlighter. So I'm going to be using my Rare Beauty highlighter to highlight up like right here and some different places. Okay, highlighter is done and I'm now going to do my brows. So her brows are a little bit like thicker and like browner than mine. They're almost black. But I'm going to just darken them up by using this Gimme Brow Benefit stuff. I don't know, I don't use it much because it's a little bit darker than my actual shade, but I'm just gonna add a little bit. Time for setting spray. Ooh, that was a lot. It is finally time for lips. I've literally been waiting for this moment literally forever because it's gonna make the makeup look so much better. Okay, so these are the three products that I have. I have this lipstick. It's the closest I could get to like a neutral because her lips are like a neutral. And then I have this Kosas like brownish neutral lip oil. I don't know. I think it will look good on top of this, but I'm going to have to see like which will work the best. And then I have the Rare Beauty lip oil in the shade Hope. This is kind of pink though. It's kind of pink, so I don't know if it'll work out. Um, so I'm just going to have to test out the two. But first, I got to put on the lipstick. I just put on the lipstick like all over and I immediately wiped it off because it was like almost pink. So I'm just gonna like line my lips. Okay, now that I've lined my lips with the lipstick, it's actually looking pretty good. Um, I'm now going to do the Kosas Lip Oil because I think it's gonna darken it more as I've used it before and I think it's gonna help it like get darker. Oh my gosh, guys, look at this lip combo, how pretty. Okay, here's the finished look of my makeup. I think it actually looks pretty similar to Sabrina Carpenter's makeup. Here's the eyes and everything. It actually looks pretty good. All right, well, if you like this video, make sure that like, subscribe button down below. Bye guys, see you next time.